Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope you're all doing well. Um, yeah, so how's everybody doing? <laughs> I feel like this is my first day. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, we're going to take a look at the month of September. This is a channel for Virgos only, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And as usual, some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. And if you're new, please do hit that like button if you enjoy my readings and welcome hello everyone in the chat and also if you want to get a personal reading there's a link in the description box below this video just click that link and you can book your personal reading with me for the month of september all right virgo let's get into your reading and see what is going on here for you virgo sun moon rising venus what does virgo need to know in love okay you have hand of cards take a chance oh risk being strategic options not showing hand and gambling okay hmm somebody's taking a risk in september let's see what's going on but they're not saying anything <gasps> there's seduction affection flirting <laughs> somebody's reaching out to you virgo in september um wants to hook up with you they're going to be flirting with you Hmm. they're being very strategic about this um, okay this could be like someone outside of the person you have on your mind this is kind of like a third party thing for you in other words if you have someone on your mind for those of you who you're listening to this reading and you're trying to connect with someone um, this is going to be somebody else all right and if you're completely single Oh gosh, it just feels like somebody's interested in you, um, wants to date, but they're not, like, they might be around you and you don't know about it, like, like their intentions here, their plans, they're going to just come out of the blue and take this risk to try to, like, I don't know, like, get you attracted to them, is how I'm feeling. Okay, a palm tree, stability, security growth somebody might okay i always feel like with that palm tree somebody lives where there's palm trees okay i always feel like that <laughs> like this is like um this person's very okay they just so they just said this this person is very flexible that's what i'm hearing flexible they're either flexible in their physical ways or they are flexible in their i can go either way Okay, maybe it might be somebody who's like bisexual as well. I'm just feeling like flexibility. Okay, <laughs> this is crazy. I love these readings. Okay, and then there's love. Wow, yeah, there's definitely like a love situation coming in for you here. Boom, boom, boom. Virgo, get on it. Get busy. Love is coming. Somebody's interested. All right, let's get into this reading and see what these messages are here for you. What else is coming for Virgo in September? So you definitely have someone who is going to be flirting with you. Um, if they're not showing up as, you know, can go either way as far as orientation. Um, it's just this like somebody's interested, not really saying anything. Or they, they have it on their mind, like they're thinking about this, thinking about their approach. Um, want to let you know that kind of thing taking a gamble here to reach out to you this could be somebody at your work they just said where it's like no we're, we're not shitting where we eat but <laughs> this is like okay yeah we work together but i don't care somebody's gonna try to like flirt with you at your job and it's just so not apropos like it's sneaky i feel like it's kind of sneaky okay let me see Okay. All right. King of Wands is here. So this is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. This is someone who's coming in very bold, brazen, confident, very funny. Um, they're showing up this way. Charismatic, charming, um, very action oriented. I feel like this person is popular or a lot of people know them. They're either like the best looking person at work or everyone's attracted to them. Very passionate. 
they're like this person does a lot of they might be athletic or they do physical activity like a lot of physical activity if this is not at your work this is just an energy of somebody kind of like could be at the bank i mean it's somewhere where maybe you're sitting you could be sitting signing some papers or something like that and this person is just if or even oh my gosh it's so i'm feeling like in september somewhere you're going to be sitting across from someone who it's like a business meeting or some type of even if it's just coffee <laughs> or it's a dinner party or something like that like this flirtatiousness this risk feels to me like it's it's right person wrong place you know what i mean because love is here okay so you you could be going on a date with someone some of you sitting there out in public and you've got somebody here who's like making moves on you and they're going to take a risk and it's like whoa I don't know, Virgo, I don't know if you, you might feel like, oh, right, right here in public, I don't know, they might try to, like, make a move on you right there in public, but this person is, like, fire, they're all fire, okay, coming at you, ooh, ten of swords in the reverse, yeah, this, oh my gosh, this person wants to, like, pull you close to them, they're going to pull you close to them, and sneak a kiss or something which is not really like I don't know it must be because where it is it's not <laughs> it's just like a sneak it's like a surprise like love kisses or they're gonna you know hug you or do something that's just gonna be kind of unexpected but this person's like planning this out but to you it will feel like unexpected but they're just like I, f I feel like this person is let me let me just wait for the right moment and then boom I'm gonna plant one on Virgo where I'm gonna like make that move okay <laughs> I just feel like this is crazy all right hold on I'm getting all excited <laughs> hold on okay wow okay this person's like forget about the past they say they say to you Virgo forget about the past focus on the future Okay, leave it in the past. Leave somebody in the past. This is somebody new. And they're telling you, forget about that person. Leave someone in the past. Just forget it. Six of Cups reversed. Focus on now. I'm here in front of you. Let's focus on now and, and moving forward. Okay, this person feels like they're very mature, very grown up, but playful at the same time. Forget about the past. It could, for some of you, this could be a past person. Um, who's you know kind of like circling back around just saying forget it let's start over let's try again that kind of thing now I don't know if there was betrayal or something might have happened but I feel like for those of you where this could be a past person this person's kind of showing up like you know let's let's pull it together let's get together let's we've learned from our past mistakes I've learned from my past mistakes let's forget about the past and focus on the future okay so this is going to go two different ways so if you have a past person who is a fire sign this is what they're going to tell you okay if if you don't this is a new person coming in as with a fire sign saying that to you and if you had to, someone who's a fire sign somebody new showing up as a fire sign I don't know what to tell you you're gonna have to feel that one out yourself all right let me see oh wow okay so so far we have Aries Leo Sagittarius Gemini Scorpio okay so for somebody new showing up here I feel like this person there's like some type of conversation somehow either before or after that you guys are going to have and I feel like this person is going to say to you you know what you were really burdened that person put a lot of burden and pressure on you um that connection that past connection was very stressful um I feel like this person is going to want to try to ease your burden and give you something new to focus on a new love a new dating opportunity a new start a new beginning to some degree um 
But this person comes in like, I don't know if you have a conversation with them or they know something about your past, but they show up like, you know, telling you, you know what, they took you for granted and I would never do that. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody is like really, really interested in you. And they may have had their eye on you for quite a while. You Maybe this is a friend or you know this person. Okay. The Six of Pentacles, Two of Cups, the Star, and the Ace of Swords. And these three just popped right out. So, yeah, this is somebody who really wants to give and to help you. And they're going to tell you that, you know, that person was breadcrumbing you. You know it. You're having a hard time. Let go. Just give me a chance. That's what I hear somebody saying, Virgo, to you. Give me a chance. Okay, the star is here. This is hope. This is renewal. This is wishes. And even, again, if it's the past person, they could be saying that to you as well. You know, I put burden on you. I caused a lot of stress. I made things really difficult. It wasn't your fault. Can we try again? You know, I was breadcrumbing you. I know I was doing that. I'm really sorry. You know, um... I'm still hopeful that we can try to make something work here, right? And this is truth. This person's coming in with truth and clarity and wants to cut through all the bullshit, okay? Um, tell me more about this, King of Wands. I just want to see. Male or female energy, okay? Just remember that. Let me see. Okay. Oh, wow. There we go. Whoever this person is, whether it's your past person or new person, this is a wish come true for you. This is your dream boat. I just heard the name Anne. Okay. This is like something you've been praying for. This person's coming in with like that wish fulfillment. They want to meet all your needs, fulfill all your desires. So you, either you know them or you, and you're finally going to get together with this person um, or you haven't met yet and you will be. And I'm just picking up, I keep picking up like either someone in a bank or attached to finances or it could be someone that deals with like anything to do with finances or judicial system that's what i'm hearing okay so whether it's a lawyer or you know whomever it might maybe it's someone handling your divorce case or did in the past okay it could be a past person as well so keep that in mind and you know just let the energies play out as the month goes by but let me get a couple of romance angels to see what other messages there are okay trust trust like a like a trust fund a bank i keep feeling this money thing if this person is attached to finances or money or something in business or judicial or something along those lines that this situ situation is calling for you to have faith Okay, Virgo, I, I don't know who I'm reading for. I don't know exactly. You can leave comments below what this, you know, if this is resonating for you. But I just keep getting this strong, you know, this thing, a spark gets felt between two people. <clears throat> and it's like, but you're my lawyer. Or, but you're my, you're my um, financial advisor. Or, you know, or my ex knows you. Or, or just something strange like that. You know, or there, there, it, so it's not like forbidden. It just kind of comes out of the blue and it feels like, whoa. And like a spark gets made. Like it's not forbidden, but it's like, okay, we're here in public and I'm feeling something or something's going on here in a public situation. Okay, calling in your soulmate. So here you go. Soulmate card right there. This is a soulmate situation. God, Virgo, this is amazing. This feels like um, meeting, meeting a soulmate in, um, I almost said November. Well, maybe some of you it'll be November, but I don't, uh, it, uh, September, obviously, because that's what we're reading for. Aquarius, Libra. Okay, we have Cancer, Taurus. Pisces. Okay, just like everybody's on the board. Let me see what your moonology message is here. Okay, luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. Wasn't that your last card as well? I feel like you got that before. Okay, luck is on your side. Something's coming in for you here. Somebody's coming in and it's unexpected. 
Okay. Oh, even with the hand of cards then too. There could be gambling or some kind of risk or maybe investing or could be stocks attached to that person as well. All right, let me see. What is their Chinese sign? Who is this person? What is their Chinese sign? If you notice, the only card that showed up was the King of Wands. That's the only court card. All right, let's see. Okay, so Year of the Tiger, Year of the Dragon, and this could be you and them, or it could be both of you, or none. Year of the Snake, Year of the Rooster, we have a Rabbit, we have an Ox, Year of the Monkey, oh, and a Goat. Okay, all right. Let me get your charms and try to see what dates we have. And happy birthday, Virgo. Oh, they fall and then they're gone and then it's history. But hold on, let me see. What number did it fall on? Okay, it fell on the number five and then I just flipped it over to a two. Okay, maybe somebody's 52. Or 25, okay, so we have September 8th. Okay, September 6th. Someone's born in 1969. Okay, we have a, had a birthday on September 1st. September 10th, the 9th, the 12th. Okay, and they're giving me um, the 24th okay so these could be birthdays let me see when this person is going to be showing up in september so happy birthday specifically to those of you who just got that message okay if i call that your birthday okay when is this person going to be showing up for virgo in september okay the 14th September 14th. So for some of you, that might be a happy birthday to you. All right, let's see. Signs, we have Gemini, Cancer, Libra. Oh, and we have Gemini again. Gemini, Cancer, Libra, and Gemini again. So that's Gemini twice. Okay, one more. And then we have Aquarius. Um, Pisces, Capricorn, and Scorpio. Okay, so if those signs resonate for you or not, let's take a look. What are your charms? Okay, you have a butterfly. Wow, I just saw a butterfly today. I saw a beautiful purple, iridescent, blue, silver butterfly. It was a decal put on the wall. I was going to get it and I said no. Okay. Hmm, is someone going to Disneyland or live near Disneyland or Disney World? I'm just picking that up. Key to a motel or a hotel somewhere near Disney, I'm getting. And this butterfly, this is obviously some type of transformation. You're seeing some kind of butter, you're seeing a butterfly somewhere. Um, yeah, I'm just getting a real strong um, mousy kind of thing. <laughs> Maybe someone's name is Mickey or Michael. Okay, let me get another charm. Oh, they gave me three. All right, Halloween for sure. We have a bat here. Okay, and we have a honeybee. Hmm. Okay, they just told me honey badger. I don't know what that means. And we also have Cupid, the uh, Cupid angel. So yeah, you're definitely going to be getting some kind of like poke in the butt by Cupid's arrow, <laughs> for sure. Some of you, this energy is going to play out around October 31st, okay? So keep that in mind. And, um, oh, okay, they just said, so this person, hmm, I don't know, they just, they gave me, oh, hold on, what are they saying? Okay, so they said, um, they said bats in the belfry, and then they gave me an image of a steeple, and then this person sits. When they sit, they keep their hands, they steeple their fingers. I don't know if you can see it like that. 
when they sit. You'll recognize them by this. When they sit across from you or when they talk to you, they sit like this. Like, hmm, you know, like this is a sign of dominance and confidence. So <laughs> that's the energy that I'm, you'll recognize them by that. And if that resonates for you, you might be like, oh, okay, I know who that is. But if you're sitting there across from someone at the bank or something, wherever and that person does that this is them this is who we're talking about and expect to be like whisked off your feet or some type of flirtatious energy or something playing out for you at this time this is so very predictive oh my goodness so leave me comments you guys and let me know you know if this resonates or if this happens for you or if this has already happened i would love to know and um Yes, I am going to be finished with your reading. So again, if you want to get a personal reading, link is in the description box below. Thank you everybody for being here. I hope you like the new setup. I, I have a better camera that I'm going to try to use this time around. So um, we'll see how it goes. All right, you guys, I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.